everyone, I'm Holly and I am the soap maker here at Missouri River Soap. And in this video today, I'm trying something a little bit different color wise and I've mixed some fragrances together and let's just see how it turns out. So I hope that you enjoy this video. Let's make soap. The first thing to do is add the goat milk to the base oils. So creamy. And my base oils are a mixture of olive, coconut, cocoa butter, and castor. That's my all-time favorite blend. I'm going to get the goat milk blended in. I am going to add in the lye solution now, and there is a little bit of lilac. My solution is reduced to accommodate the goat milk and the sodium lactate, plus it's reduced a little bit more than usual. And so it's fresh, it's just a natural reaction between the sodium hydroxide and the um, carbon dioxide in the air, which creates sodium carbonate. And it's fine, it goes right in. It's just a natural part of making soap. I'm going to bring this to emulsification. Right, that's looking good just looking that there's no oils swirling on the surface because I do need time to work with my colors here is my fragrance oil and it is a custom blend I have mixed uh, daydream and strawberry guava from South let's see South Florida candle supply I think it is and so hopefully it all <laughs> go well we'll see we will see. I'm gonna go ahead and add it in. And if we can't do something, I might just pour it. If we can't do what I'm going for. So sometimes the strawberries can move quickly. Thing looks good. I'm not seeing any ricing or anything. Alright, I'm going to get this out and go ahead and start getting my colors separated. I'm going to go ahead and pour off for some white. And we're going to have some pink and purple. So into this base, I am going to have a blue color. This is my blue, right? Yes. I've mixed some Klein blue from Nurture Soap with a little oleander and it has a pink hue. So it did purple it just a hint. That's why I was like, is this, <laughs> is this the blue one? This is starting to get thick. It's just, Oh no, that's fine. It kind of looked thick on the surface, but it's actually fine. And I'm just going for like a light blue, which, oh, this is it. I had been grabbing Aphrodite from Mad Micah's, but it is actually more of a teal color and I wanted, wanted more blue. So this is going to work out better. Let's see, so let's, we'll do our white here. It's, it's good. And then we're going to have some pink. This is Amaranth from Nurture Soap. 
with a little oleander. So this is just naturally a light pink for starters. And this one here, I feel like I'm shifting, <laughs> wasting time shifting, anyway. And then this one here is Pow Pow Purple from Mad Micah's with a little oleander. So we just mix it up. I like both suppliers and they have both have a lot to offer. You can use one if that's all you want to use is the one, but why not mix it up? And I do love these little cups from Mad Micah's. These little silicone cups, perfect. I'm probably just going to stir these, the mica ones, if I do need to give the titanium dioxide a little stick blend. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to call this soap. I wanted to call it daydreaming because I do a lot of daydreaming about soap and just in general and I just felt like calling it that but I don't think I can use that name. So I am probably, not probably, going to have to come up with something different. is getting a little bit thicker there. All right, I'm gonna do an in the pot swirl into this one, which it's going to be very concentrated, obviously, because there's so much of these two colors here. But that's fine, and if they mix, even better. Now the Daydream fragrance I'm pretty sure it's a duplication, but I'm not sure at this very moment of what. Um, it is apples and berries and vanilla, and it's quite beautiful. It has a very shampoo-like fragrance. And then the strawberry guava is a beautiful strawberry as well. And I didn't have enough to really um, work with it on its own, so I decided to mix it. But I will probably be looking to buy both of these again. I think I think um, the strawberry guava is out of stock. I know um, Candle Science also has one, but I haven't paid attention to their soaping notes. Not that I had any notes to go with this one, but I'm winging it. All right, I'm gonna just use this spatula and give it a little bit of a stir because the white's a hint thicker here. Whoa, messy. So I'm going to put the blue down in first, probably three layers if I can. This color kind of did gray out just a little bit, so I guess we'll see how that works. And then I'm going to do kind of a swirl of this in the pot swirl. I was definitely inspired for a pink and purple. You know I do love working with my pink and my purples after a break from standard soap making. Just my thing. mix this up a little bit getting quite thick some of my best designs have come from thick in the pot swirls so it's definitely not the end of the world Whoa. don't always have the best grip and consistency let's start on this end I 
This is very pretty. Let's see what we got going on down in here. It's definitely getting quite thick. I will see what I can do on the top with what's left there. Apple also tends to be a fast moving fragrance. So this is not unexpected. I'm going to have to be in the way for a moment. Hopefully this does not end up darkening a lot. I don't believe either one of them had vanillin. Sometimes you never can tell even though they don't say it's just straight up vanillin. Sometimes they'll have like ethyl vanillin. I think that's how you say it, ethyl. And sometimes that will pop in there and cause you some problems. Regular blue is not that bad still fairly thin. The colors, the pink and the white and the purple, they would have thinned out a little bit if I could have stirred them and of course stirring them would have changed things. So I want a fairly flat top on this but I do need to smooth some of this out so I think I'm just going to go uh, back and forth lengthwise. I like how that's looking. Not overly mixing it, smoothing it out though, leveling it off a bit. Start back on this end and meet up. Definitely it's rather thick. This is great though. This is working out. So I'm just gonna clean these edges by using a popsicle stick just to smooth it down. That is really pretty, I love it. Can't wait to see the inside of this one. So what I'm going to do right now is cover it up. I'm going to allow it to sit for probably 24 to 48 hours to saponify and solidify and just do its thing. And I will be back to cut it into bars. I am back to cut this yet unnamed soap. It smells amazing. Apples and berries and get that strawberry guava. It is trying to discolor a little bit. I don't know how far it's going to go. We're just gonna have to see. Well, I'm gonna have to see because it's gonna have to cure for a good long while. But it does smell super good. I do love it. Like I said in the making, it was kind of like a, kind of shampoo-y actually. Oh, that's pretty. I do really like how it turned out. So we'll just have to see. I know there's a little discoloration here on the bottom. Oh goodness, I guess I need to turn my volume down. Has a little discoloring there, but we'll have to see how far it goes. Sometimes I've had discoloring like this and it just kind of stops there, but I'm not counting on it. Very nice. I'm seeing a little bit of discoloration 
popping in so I'm guessing this is going to discolor which is going to be a little bit disappointing but it smells so good so we may just have to allow it. Sometimes I wonder why I get wild hairs like that and make a big batch and then it discolors. Oh well. That's how I roll. This is cutter's a little tight here. I'm having to take some time to tighten the wires as I go just because it's a new cutter for me. I do love it though. I really love it. It just smells so good. I'm very pleased with how the top is all ridgy. I love that. So fun. It really does smell good. You get that. Definitely get apple. Um, none of the, you know, scents in general are super strong. It does have a little bit of the creaminess and that's why it's likely going to whoa, hello, uh, discolor a little bit. But some of them that discolor a lot and you just kind of have to have it so that you get that really great scent is like, um, Oh, what I just had on the tip of my tongue and now it's gone. Oh, cherry. A lot of time the cherries discolor too. Oh, goodness. <laughs> That's okay. Cute. How that? It's just like a little, little bloop of color right there. I'm loving this bar size. I just... You know, I've mentioned it before in another, another video or two. I don't know if it's pack and chat or the tallow ones, etc. But um, I've always had the bigger bars, 1.25. And that was typically what, typically what my customers wanted. But now I'm switching to these one inch bars for a while just because, you know, cost of ingredients have really gone up and the world is a little bit in shambles right now. <laughs> so let's have some smaller bars, something that you can still try something and maybe switch out more often. Try more things. This blue ended up just a hint dustier. To do it again, I would probably just use ultramarine blue instead of that Klein blue or just used a bit more. The general like tone of it is what I wanted as far as the, um, it's not pastel, but you know, it's kind of like the, the medium creamy tone of it. It's just that it did lean towards the gray, just a hint, but it's still, if this is how it ended up, I would be quite happy with the results. So let's see like an er like a bar towards the front. Oh, this one is getting a little bit, I must need to work with my um, wire. It's a little off kilter. I do think it's gonna do that discoloration though. I really do. So here we have the final cut of this unnamed but beautiful soap. And I love how it turned out. It's going to go onto the curing rack where I will monitor it and see 
how much it's going to discolor. I will wait to take um, product pictures. I'll take pictures for the video, but I'll probably wait to take product pictures until I know what color it's going to be. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next video.